Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs or Shoes and Hand Grenades. I'm CC Survivor and today we're going to take a look at Update 92 Alpha 3. Which is a little early than expected because apparently Anton wanted us to get ahead of these things for bug testing. And what things in particular? Well, it's this toy. But before we get on to that, a few little things to talk about. One, last update, uh, there was a bug. The changing of the barrel length hadn't actually been implemented in changing the muzzle velocity. Well, he's changed it now, so that's a good thing. Next off, a new addition. So, muzzle devices now have an internal accuracy mechanic to them. Now, the way it works is absolutely wonderful. So, each device, each item in the game has a unique ID. When you take two items, the IDs are hashed together. It's a fancy bit of maths. Basically, every hash is unique. And creates a unique but consistent number. So, if I put this suppressor on and you put it on this, and on this gun and you do the same, you'll get the same exact hash. This hash is then applied to the accuracy and will shift the center of where all the bullets will land somewhere else. So if normally we land there, it might shift all the bullets up there. So they'd still have the same spread, but the whole thing would be shifted over, which is very, very nice and complete enoughly for a long distance stable sniper shooting, which that thing comes in very useful for. So. Let's go through all the things we have. So we have this new uh, suppressor, which is the Chungus suppressor. I think you can agree, it's definitely a Chungus. So, uh, safety off. Context. Uh, so this is a bit too long, let's get two, get a second hand on there. Okay. We get to hear the wonderful reverb of this game. Ha, ah, it's a melon. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, they're probably all going to sound the same, but, you know, it's satisfying. So that will have a different internal accuracy mechanic than this. Um, for those who didn't look, uh, haven't watched the video, my video or the devlog on the uh, last update, they won't, you won't probably know about the internal accuracy mechanic, but every gun has its own internal accuracy, well, category of gun. Uh, so, this is the Codatan suppressor. Hmm, nice. Um, and each device's internal um, accuracy is also affected by... Oh, wait, no. What was it? There was something related to the quality of the muzzle device. Yes. The, the lower the quality, the less accurate the muzzle device is. The more internal accuracy it adds as well. Uh, might need a bolt, which is also very nice. So, clearly handmade um, bolt action, uh, handmade crude devices will be rubbish, like the uh, oil filter suppressor and the bottle suppressor. But something professional and modern is better. So this is the Obrez, o Ober, not Obrez. Uh, so, you know what? We don't need to hear them because they're all the same. So we've got the wrapped. And we've got the quadrant. Very nice. Now onto the more functional stuff. Because suppressors are suppressors. So we've got this beautiful... Hello? Where's the slot? There we go. This hand. Hand. I've lost a hand. A few. Right. So we're back after that shenanigans. Gotta love controllers being um, like they were... I fixed them. So, we were moving on to uh, different sniper scopes. So, we have this one, which is the Scope Ham Combo Scope 4x24, which I believe has a beautiful low power built in scope. So, we can zero out to a decent distance, of course. So, this one is a four times scope here. Uh, let's line that with my left eye. And then we've got a wonderful red dot up. Here, which is always nice, a nice dual one, so you're aiming out at range and then you see someone in your vision close, so you go. 
wonderful. Great for switching between long, longish range because 100 meters. Four time scope, that seems practical. Very nice. So, uh, goodbye to you. Next scope, we have the. Uh, the Flemen Cot 6 1x6 low power scope. So LPVO. It's a low power scope. So it goes from magnification of 1 all the way up to 6, which is very nice. So let's line it up. Which is very nice. And I do like that. Ooh, wrong button. Wrong button again. To go up, haven't I? I do like that 0.5 in there, very nice. And it's got is that mill dot style? I think that's a mill dot thing. So, one times not the most useful, but I feel like 1.5 is just the, that that's pretty nice for that ever so slight bit of magnification. Then again, two, two times is always good. Oh, the sound of everything breaking. Absolutely wonderful. So, I believe we have another low power scope, which is this one, which is the VD1 1 to 16 low power scope, which is very nice as well. Same setup. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, should line it up on my left eye. I do like that scope, it's very nice. And the thing about these scopes, you can tell how far you're zoomed in because of the way the reticle changes. Which is very nice. And I missed. No matter. And I don't think this is a new scope, Brain. Is it? Let's have a look. Let's just quickly check the change log because um, I am a terrible person who forgot to reopen the change log after fixing the controllers. And has forgot what was actually added. I think that's one of the scopes that was there already. Yeah, that was one of the scopes that was added already. Now, on to the more significant thing. This little toy. So, we'll put you there and we'll click Toggle Locked Object. Wait, no. Hello? There we go. So, uh, let me put my back out as I... Uh, Get down on the floor. So first off, zero rot, zero rotation. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get the bigger scope because that's more useful. Uh, you are being held in the wrong way. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. So um, let's also grab our beautiful target. Uh, we need to lower it down to here. Two meters. Uh, this is two meters off the ground, yes. And we'll send it out to you know what, 250, because this will be good for testing something else. So it's all the way over there. Oh, wonderful. So this thing is wonderful. So this has a few different options. So this section here is for changing your um, X, Y, and Z. So forwards and back, left and right, up and down. So you can perfectly align it with you. So if I pull this back, excellent, and we'll put it in a beautiful spot. Uh, let's use my left eye as well. And then I just put you up. Do you know what? I'm going to lower this by another 0.5 because we're pretty low down here. I keep wanting to use my right eye, but I need to not. So this section here is used for rotation. Now, this Thing, um, this little interaction doodad can be on, off, right, or left. Left, right, or off. Uh, we're going to put it on the right because that's closer to us. So we'll line it up. Okay, so we can then rotate. Now, uh, that's a roll. Why am I? I want that one. Now this is a bit fast to use, as you can see, but we can go, you know what, we'll do it, we'll multiply our movement by 0 0.1, so every, well, for example, meter we move, we move 0 0.1 of a meter. Very useful. Now, let's up our magnification all the way, and we're at 250 meters, so we need to zero out to 250. 
Okay, let's uh, rotate up. Okay. Excellent. Let's go down to point one. Okay, that appears to be nice and lined up. Now the good no, the good thing about this is I have got hold of the thing and I can pull the trigger, but the gun is locked in place, which is very useful. So let's see, where did we land? Did we even hit the target? Hey, scoreboard. Uh, where's the sheet? Yeah, we did. So if we put a couple of shots down range, Actually, you know what? I should probably show you what we're hitting. We're empty. And we'll have a bunch of very neatly clustered shots. We're ever so slightly high. Now, that might be because I've slightly over-elevated it. I slightly rotated it up too high, but that's very good. Now... That gun isn't very good for showing what we, the other mechanic that we got last time, the internal accuracy. We will show that off with a less accurate gun because, well, it's easy to see. So we need a nice little rifle. Let's go with an assault rifle. Who's a nice assault rifle that feels good? I want a Picatinny. Nice and easy to reload. Is your lot? this one uh, let's get rid of you put you in there spawn lock load bolt and we're good excellent so we will grab our scope where did I put the scope there so um, this is still set out to that I'll just make sure that it's working so we will set that up there we will zero rotation I will attempt to position myself next to it and get back down on the floor so let's realign this that looks pretty close Oh, we fully zoomed in. We are. God, 32 times magnification does not feel as cl much zoom as we would like it. So, let's reset target, begin new set, and we'll put uh, a few shots down range. So, iron it up. Okay, that's a few shots. And we can see it's wonderful spread. Now, clearly the center is somewhere around here. But, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We could correct for that if we use the um, elevation to drop it down. Um, doesn't look like it's offset to the side but any much, any bit. The average looks like it's aligned. But we're not going to mess around with that because we don't need to show that off. But we could if we wanted to. So, we're going to attach this suppressor. And you could see that that had a lower, a greater spread than the nice long range shooting sniper. So, we will continue with our shots here. So we saw where they are there. And we see our cluster has been shifted up. So we could then use our elevation and windage to now shift that across and down to recenter that. And if we got a different Um, suppressor as I said before each combo has its own unique change and this applies to all muzzle devices yep so if we fire this one where are you landing let's reset the sheet because we might be clean it yeah that's dropped off to the right so we had 
one suppressed one gun was in the top left one was in top right and default it was in the middle which is nice because this basically is the way suppressors and all that work the way they change aerodynamics compression and barrel length and all that is really hard to predict but consistent so the best way to determine how it shoots is testing just repeatedly setting up the gun and shooting so yeah uh, let's have a look down at the site because I am terrible yeah but that is everything and this device will be fun uh, let's just take that and when it's not got a locked object you can move it around now I wonder if I was to put that there Oh, interesting. Hmm. So, I need more pairs of hands. What if I was, say, there? No. But what if I was to, and then do it? It might not work. Anywho, enough about me trying to break things. Poor Anton has enough stress as it is dealing with the community and its wants and desires so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed because that is everything in this update correct correct brain correct um he's still working on the the, the red dot sites and all that the game the glow the What's I call it? What did he say? The luminance has not been re-implemented because he wants to get the default to work in the broadest spectrum of scenes, the broadest set of things, and then tweak get the highest, get a lowest, and then interpolate between those three values. To be honest, makes sense. Best way to do it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. New channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links for those are down in the description. Stay well. And survive out. Oh, that has a nice blue tint. I never checked what the end of this, this other one was. Oh, purple. Green. I don't know why I said it like that. Well, I hit the target a little bit. I probably would have been better taking the suppressor off. <laughs> because I would be firing a little off to the right. Anywho, stay well. Cheerio.